Hey, what's happening everybody, Blues and here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some ZRG, ZRGG, GG, 20mm gameplay. Um, I've been wanting to do a video on this gun forever. Um, sadly, it, the challenge to unlock it's really hard, so I decided um, it was a good executive decision as a channel to waste my money on yet another bundle. Uh, this time I got the Tropical Tracer pack, came with this, an MP5, and some Magnums. Magnums are super good, you'll actually see me use those a bit, and the ZRG itself, I just love slow, fat, hard-hitting sniper rifles, there's just something gorgeous about it. Uh, just like a slow, fat woman, yeah, I don't know where to go with that joke, but <laughs> today I have a little story to tell, not a very long one compared to um, last time. Last time around, I had uh, quite the chronicle of my hiking trip, um, but this one happened to me at my very own job. Um, I work at a place that processes photos. I'm not going to tell you exactly where. If you really want to find out, just go to like a later video. I've probably talked about it before. Um, but for the privacy of the people involved, I work at a place that processes photos. We're talking, you know, like you bring your phone into a kiosk and you can have that processed, you know, like your photos off there, make them into um, actual prints or projects, shit like that. Um, we also send out film, all sorts of fun stuff, um, but it's not really relevant to uh, what's going on today or what happened to me uh, at work that day. Um, I was working the photo lab doing my thing and a nice old gentleman asked me to come help him, which isn't exactly uncommon because we have plenty of old people that don't know how to use their smartphones or how to plug in like a USB uh, a or anything like that um, so that they needed some help into plugging their phone in, and that's pretty common uh, I helped him do it and he had an s21 with a you know the new the new Samsung device had a very pretty camera on it um, and he was showing me what this thing could do uh, he had like hundreds of photos of sunsets uh, inner city um, some aerial shots from his hotel all sorts of really cool stuff and apparently he took all of them while in Florida which is hard to believe because Florida is one of if not the worst places to live you either live in like gang territory or you live where old people are both are not well both are incredibly interesting for very mundane and terribly scary reasons um, but at the same time you know these photos were really great he was getting pictures right on the water of these nice red sunsets and as we're going he's taking he's adding you know a four by six of that a five by seven of this these gorgeous sunsets um but in between all of them i see a little something i do believe it wasn't a sunset and uh it might have been in between sunset viewing uh it was a picture of his urine and or piss uh in a toilet bowl just a filled toilet of piss there was no joke, there was no uh, sign, there was no funny. It was just his urine in a toilet before it was flushed. Oh my god, my neighbors are fucking crazy loud. But uh, there was just piss there. And uh, it happens all the time, trust me. I see people's weird shit in their camera rolls all the time because um, for us iPhone users, we have a little feature called hidden where you can like hide photos from your main gallery and keep them in their own little spot. It's usually where you keep your nudes and your porn screenshots and your and your cryptocurrency screenshots, all your scary shit. Um, that joke sucked, holy fuck, man. I, was, I needed to make a joke about crypto, but I didn't have one. <laughs> so, um, but nonetheless, those things still show um, perfectly intact on our kiosks. So be careful if you're ever going into a, a place that processes photos. It does usually grab everything. Nonetheless, an embarrassing photo wasn't too uncommon. And like most other people, I expected him to scroll down until I was acting as if though I didn't see it and we were going to move on. No, he doubled down. He looked me in the eyes. He turned his old man stare right into my young eyes. Uh, he could barely look at them because I have so much hair on my fucking face nonetheless. Um, and he clicks on the photo. He brings it full screen for the entire fucking store to see. Everybody turns to see this urine in a goddamn toilet bowl. And he adds two 4 by 6s to his... Uh, protege of, of, of photos that he was purchasing that day. I don't know why I used protege. That was a not good word choice. Um, and uh, he says to me, yep, I need those. I don't know what the fuck. Listen, I, I tried super hard to reason, uh, any reason why he would need this photo. Maybe he has some sort of disease that makes it so... He needs to take routine photos of his urine uh, to show to his doctor or something. But then you'd think 
that there would be like some sort of test strip or it would be a not good color, you know, something like that. But it looked perfectly healthy. Maybe he was trying to... Dude, I don't know. There's literally nothing. There's like maybe he has some sort of health problem or like some fucking bladder issues that require him to take pics, pictures of his piss. But I've never heard that. My mom works as a dialysis like she runs a fucking dialysis center. There's never been a time that they've requested for you to take a picture of your piss, irregardless of the fact of like if it's healthy or not. So that was very odd. Um, but, you know. We moved on. I, I think I said just like, okay, yeah, we do. You know, like just trying to go along with it because normally I'm pretty jokey. I'm pretty funny with the customers. Um, and I'm able to kind of talk them up and, and get them to at least sort of go back and forth with me. This one, dude, I had nowhere to go. I was stopped in my fucking tracks. Um, and, you know, we finish up. We get past the piss picture. He does a couple more sunsets. And then he gives up. He's done. Um, and he sends them through. And as he stands, he says, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm hungry. I'm, you know, you print those. I'm going over to McDonald's. You want something? You want to like treat? You want to, you want a McDouble? And well, after seeing a man's urine, uh, that specific man's urine, it's difficult to say yes to the proposition of a McDouble. But my circumstances were rather grim. I had about four dollars in my bank account that were, uh, you know, expendable, uh, and it was a couple days before payday. So free McDouble. You know, even if there was the danger of urine being in it, uh, sounded like a great idea. Um, in, in my mania, thinking for whatever reason, this this crazy man who probably has never washed his hands post piss, um, buying me a burger just just ran right up my alley, and I said yes. Make sure to do it only ketchup. I don't fuck with uh, mustard or pickles. I'm okay with onions, but uh, sometimes they overdo it. Whatever. And he leaves, and I print the photos. And I'm in the preview screen where I'm looking at this shit, and um, <laughs> there's just looking at this fucking photo amongst everything else. And the fact that it probably totally evaded our like terms of service where we can't do anything NSFW or like bathroom related unless like, you know, dictated by a manager or something like that. So I was just like fucking dumbfounded. I printed these. I held the photo in my hand thinking to myself, what in God's name could justify this? You know, like I didn't want to fucking interrogate the guy on why he took a picture of his piss. Like, dude, I have a fucking photo in my toilet of, of shit because I was high and I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought my poop was fucking funny. But like at the same time, like, dude, <sighs> I don't see this gentleman, like, having something funny to say about it. Like, I thought there'd be something grim or scary, you know? And, like, the fact that he didn't tell me when he pulled it on screen made me think there just wasn't any good reason for this shit to be here. Um, he comes back, and in the ruffled and fucking beat-to-shit bag of McDonald's uh, was my McDouble. He handed it over. I sold him the photos. I said, thank you. He said, thank me, and uh, he, he left. He didn't open them to check their quality, nothing like that. Um, and I, I was left to recede back to the photo lab uh, with my McDouble to inspect this thing for any sort of sexually transmitted disease or um, any sort of urine or shit or, or fart or, or poop. Um, you know, my uh, as being someone who knows a lot about shit or fart or poop or pee, um, I, I am quite the expert in, in that sort of humor, so I knew what I was looking for. Uh, after my, my six checks, my, my scans, I was unable to find any sort of um, excretal waste from the body on the burger, and I gave it a nice bite. It tasted incredible, better than any McDouble I've ever had, and that's what makes me think he added some sort of his own special sauce. Uh, maybe, maybe this is what this man does. He gets his kicks out of going to a fucking place to process his photos, showing people his piss bowl and then buying them food and and just having them second guess themselves and everything that they can do uh after this whole ordeal i brought it up to uh someone in management and they were like don't fucking ever do that again like do not ever print that sort of shit again and i've like printed goofy shit before but there was nothing goofy about this this was literally just fucking piss this is the piss man you know this is just the pee guy um so they said if this ever happens again to bring someone over, it's just, you know, in the moment of you and a customer staring at the screen, this full screen photo of yellow water with a couple bubbles on top and a toilet bowl, there's not a whole lot that can be said emotionally uh, to save yourself from this terrible distress. And I knew I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I, I knew that if I said anything or I tried to bring someone over, 
uh, it would just hurt me more. So I just tried to get this man out the door. Uh, I got a sandwich out of it that maybe had something disgusting on it, and uh, I survived to tell the tale. If you guys enjoy this uh, video, I love you guys so much. It's been an incredible uh, couple weeks that I've just been making videos. Um, I know that the effort that goes into this is just really gameplay and talking to a camera, but let me tell you this. This is take number like six. Like I do these all in one take. Um, and I talk to the camera in a way that, you know, like if I listen back to my VO and it's not very enthusiastic or interesting, I do want to redo it. So I put a little bit of effort into these guys. It takes a couple hours to make these videos. So I do appreciate anybody's viewership and, uh, there's nothing I'd rather be doing right now. So thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, everybody.